Now it looks like you got a pretty eclectic band uh, playing with you on the new CD. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I, was, uh, I re recorded my new CD, If It Feels Good, Don't Do It, in Nashville in, in April of this year. And it was co-produced by uh, Wil Wilco's first drummer, and the old drummer for uh, Uncle Tupelo, his name is Ken Coomer. And them being s basically from the St. Louis area, or as a, you know, their second home, um, yeah, of course I was a big Uncle Tupelo and Wilco fan. And, um, and so uh, to get an opportunity to, to record a record with a guy that I, I've been listening to his music for years and years, and I've seen him play, you know, a half dozen times or more, this is a huge, just a huge opportunity and a huge honor that I, that I couldn't uh, pass up. So, so Ken is playing drums on my record, and um, we brought in a guy to play lead guitar stuff. Uh, and his name is Reeves Gabrels. Sure. And I had never heard of this guy before, but he's played in some heavyweight bands. Like uh, he was a part of Tin Machine, which I'm gonna have to admit I'm gonna re uh, erase all street cred right here, but I've. I'd, I'd only heard of Tin Machine, but I've never, I don't really know what they, what they did. I know that it, they're loved, et cetera, but he, uh, I come to find out that Reeves Gabrels uh, also, he was basically in um, David Bowie's band for like 15 years or something like that. So he was with this rock god, and he was also uh, around the time that Bowie and Nine Inch Nails were doing a lot of stuff in the mid-90s, it turns out that I guess Trent Reznor picked up Reeves to play in Nine Inch Nails' live band. So the lead guitar player on my new record used to play in David Bowie's band and uh, Nine Inch Nails, you know, it's unbelievable. And so there are a couple songs, uh, two or three songs on, the, on this record that he just, he just blows apart and I just, uh, he just, it's unbelievable what that guy can do and, and did. And um, in, in, like, in like six hours, you know, it's like, hey, come to the studio, he shows up and he brings like, eight guitars and 15 pedals and he say, he knows what he's doing, he sets everything up, he listens to my song a couple times and makes a couple passes at it, and by the third or fourth take at the most he's done, you are on to something next. It's, cool. The talent out there is unbelievable. The uh, bass player that we, that we worked with is the same way, and his name is Tim Marks. He um, might be best known for playing bass on that country artist Taylor Swift's new record. So, which is apparently huge and blowing up. So, and this guy is, um, I got to know him a little bit. He was the same way. I, I only knew him for six hours, but he brought two or three basses by, and maybe an effect pedal here or two. And he's one of those guys, he's a, like, a, like a mathematical guy, where uh, real particular about writing out the chord changes and the charts and the numbers and this and this and this and this. And, this. and so, um, and it was, it, was, it was neat to see him follow along with a series of numbers in this, you know, on a piece of paper, a real formulaic way to chart out a song. Yet, at the same time, he's looking at this, you know, one, four, five, four, basic numbers. He's doing, ends up doing the. You know, he's, I don't know how, you know, he's a, he's a brilliant mind for bass. And um, uh, I, I do some, I, well, I do some singing on my record. Yes, I, uh, I sing on my record and uh, the additional vocals by. My friend Amy Romero, who's um, who's in a in a big band, a awesome musician in, in uh, Nashville, Mero, M A R R O W, and uh, she is wonderful. Yeah, well, she really shines on um, a couple songs. Uh, we brought her in for two songs, and it it just turned out perfect. And uh, as far as uh, string quartet and string section and everything else, um, we so when we had. Uh, a couple of uh, the songs done, like their, their framework done, we sent the files over to uh, Ken's friend. And actually, this, I've, I've never met the guy. I just know that he's this heavyweight, um, the guy that you send songs to when you need awesome string sections, okay. basically the best way for me to describe it. So we got done with Chasing After You and the Answers You Want, like guitar and maybe like, uh, like the one little mini drum track or something so that he had enough to work with and uh, and that took him like two or three days later he came and he sent us back the files with all of a sudden ch uh, Chasing After You has an uh, unbelievable cello on it and then the answer is you want has this string section that just cool. it just it just supported what he did supports those songs so much everybody came in and really shines um, on like two or three or four things you know so it's 
it's not like uh, I, 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 I just really like the balance to the record where there are a couple songs that Reeves totally blows up and then you can just the, the bass line is great in this song and then you know and then the strings in this song and so so that's um, that's who's on my record oh yeah oh 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 wait, wait. Forget all your plans and drop all your bags and hide. 